it's it's going to be hard, but I have to uh, to you know fight through it and uh, and push through it. On their second night of a back-to-back, -back, the Boston Celtics faced off against the Brooklyn Nets. The Seas were once again down key players in Jalen Brown, Kemba Walker, and Rob Williams. And while the Celtics held a four-point lead at the end of the first quarter, they struggled to find a rhythm offensively as the Nets continued to gain momentum to close out with a 109-104 victory. Now, a bright spot in this game was the return of Evan Fournier, who had been out since April 4th because of the NBA health and safety protocols. And while Fournier had to shake off some rust, the team was happy for his return to see him get back up to speed. I probably could have waited, uh, you know, a few more days or a few more games to really feel better. But, you know, I just got here and, you know, I need reps to, you know, play with the guys. And, you know, I only had two days of practice. And, and you know, for, for me, the, 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 the most important thing is, is just to be out there, you know. So it's, it's going to be hard, obviously, but I have to, uh, to you know, fight through it and, uh, and push through it. He's going to probably very, very likely at least going to struggle and we just don't have time to, to practice he's got to he's got to play he's got to get his himself up to speed but uh, I thought they did a lot of good things Evan obviously could make a shot but I just asked him how he felt he said he was pretty winded out there um, so that was not a huge surprise but it is good to get him those minutes it's not necessarily about about knowing uh, the plays and all that it's more about getting used to playing with guys and knowing their tendencies and and just being out there you know for me that's 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 really important so that's obviously not how I want to play. And, uh, you know, you, you want to win every game you're in, obviously. But, uh, you know, I think it was really important for me to to get that first game in and, 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 and just get, get back out there. And, you know, I, I'm going to be tired, but that's, that's, that's positive. That's good. The Celtics will now face off against the Charlotte Hornets for a Sunday afternoon matchup and will look to end their two-game road trip on a high note before heading back to Boston.